Between Lives is a new biographical survival drama movie that is now streaming on Amazon Prime Video, directed by Ron Howard, and it stars Viggo Mortensen, Colin Farrell, Joel Edgerton, Tom Bateman. Also, give me a second, I wanna make sure that I get their names right because I do wanna pronounce some of the Thai actors for this movie. Uh, Tira Don Supapanpinyo and Sukalawat Canarat. What the fuck are you talking about, man? I do apologize. I tried my very best to sound out their names. I'm not intending any disrespect towards them at all. I just, I'm just really bad at pronouncing stuff sometimes. 13 Lives apparently is based off of uh, a true story inspired by true events, and it follows this soccer team in Thailand that go decides to go exploring into uh, some caves right before a big birthday party. And unfortunately, they never show up to the birthday party, so it is discovered that the caves have flooded and the kids, the soccer team, is now trapped in these caves. Oh, Viggo Mortensen and Colin Farrell are the leads of a team of really professional divers. They come to Thailand and their whole sole purpose is to dive into these caves and to find these kids and then find some way of getting these kids, getting that entire team out of the caves. I think I briefly heard about this story years ago. I don't remember like getting too deeply into it, but then when I heard Ron Howard was directing it, I was like, oh shit. Okay, I gotta check this out. I gotta see what this story is about. Even if they kind of exaggerated some stuff in here, and let's be honest, they probably did because that's what Hollywood does. They're always exaggerating shit for our benefit. I guess it benefits them because if they can create a more like entertaining movie, then that, that's more dollars for them, I guess. I'm actually kind of stunned if even a fraction of what happened in this movie actually happened in real life. Because they make clear in this movie that these caves are really dangerous and that these floods, how strong the current is and how narrow the cave tunnels are, it just, it makes it navigate it almost impossible. So I do love that Ron Howard brought that sense of realism to this movie. Like for the most part, pretty much from the beginning, it's, it focuses 100% on the effort to get these kids out of these caves. And there is a lot of suspense. There's a lot of tension that is crafted into these scenes. I love the way that Ron Howard and the cinematographer filmed these scenes underwater in these caves. It's very claustrophobic and it's very anxiety inducing because a lot of it is filmed close up in the actors' faces and you get to see them trying to fit their bodies around curves and bends that maybe a human being should not be trying to fit themselves around. Also, I think the performances in the movie are really good. Viggo Mortensen, that man has never given me a bad performance. Colin Farrell has given me bad performances, depending on the movie, but Colin Farrell was actually really, really good in this movie. So Joel Edgerton is in this movie. Did not know that Joel Edgerton was going to be in this movie. Joel Edgerton was fucking incredible in this movie. There's definitely that sense of hopelessness, of despair, of, of fear of, you know, parents that are trying to get their kids out of this cave. These kids, they're just going exploring. The idea that these kids might die in these caves, that they might either starve or they might drown or they might get hurt somehow. Like that's a very terrifying thought and it's very terrifying to see someone's kids being put through that. And so I do I do like that that sense of desperation was captured in the movie. I do think the movie probably runs a tad bit too long. And what I mean by that is that there are some times in this movie where people are just trying to figure out what to do next. And they're trying to figure out how to get past the next obstacle that just popped up in their way. So there's a sense that maybe some of the scenes in this film feel a little bit repetitive and it does start dragging in some spots. This movie's definitely a lot more plot focused than it is character focused. You definitely are much more invested in the how than in the who. Like you don't care as much about the people that are trying to get these kids out of these caves. It's hard to feel as invested as I think the movie wants you to feel invested. And part of that is because it's just hard to find some of the characters that you can latch onto in a movie like this. It's just hard to get behind them. The people you care about the most are the parents of the people whose family is stuck in these caves. They're not actually given a prominent role in the movie, obviously. So it's just, it's just hard to feel that sense of urgency, you know? Definitely had a lot of anxiety and claustrophobic scenes that are really gonna get to whoever's watching it. I have no idea how accurate the movie was or wasn't, but I get good performances and I get an interesting look at a real life story. I think that works enough for me. 13 Lives was actually a pretty decent watch on Amazon Prime Video. I'm gonna leave this one in the Silver Age for Man of Steel. What's your favorite biographical movie that's based off of a true story? Go ahead and leave that in the comment section down below. Please like and subscribe to the Super Fan Show. Stay tuned for more videos. And if you like what you see, tell me how you feel. Stay tuned to hear more from the Man of Steel. Peace.